This arithmetic reasoning practice test question for the ASVAB and PyCat says, a boat takes two hours to travel 20 miles upriver against a current. If the rate of the boat is 15 miles per hour in still water, what is the rate of the current? So again, on the ASVAB and PyCat, you're not given a reference sheet or a calculator, but in order to solve this one, you have to know the distance formula. That is distance D is equal to rate R times T time. And if we look through this problem one more time, we could see that it takes the boat a time of two hours to travel a distance of 20 miles against a current. And we know that the rate of the boat is 15 miles per hour in still water. That said, this problem is somewhat challenging insofar as we have to make a slight modification to the distance formula to account for this new variable called current. So I'm going to let the letter variable C represent current. And let's take a step back and think about how we're going to make this modification to the distance formula. We're going upriver against the current. So that's going to be slowing down the speed or the rate of the boat. So to represent that algebraically, that's going to be the rate or speed of the boat minus the current that is pushing against the boat and slowing it down. All right, so just like that, I made a modification to the distance formula. And now that I've done that, let's go ahead and plug our values in. We know the distance is 20 miles. We know that in still water, the boat goes 15 miles per hour. And it took two hours to travel that distance. So as you can see, we can now solve for the letter variable C to get our answer. The first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides of this equation by 2. This crosses out, leaving you with 15 minus C over here. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Again, we want to solve for C. So the next thing I'm going to do is subtract 15 from both sides. This crosses out, leaving us with negative C over here. 10 minus 15 is going to be negative 5. Again, we want to know the speed of the current. So we just want C. We don't want negative C. So to make C positive, we're going to divide it by negative 1. Negative divided by a negative is a positive. So this says C equals negative 5 divided by negative 1 is going to be positive 5. So we know the, we know the rate of the current is going to be B 5 miles per hour.